What's up, it's your boy Young Tusk. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to join the Petro Squad if this helps you. So basically, this is how you turn on comments to speech if the comments aren't displaying for you. And if you want to turn on comments to speech, first of all, you have to set settings, language, system language to English. It has to be in English or in Chinese or whatever that is, Japanese, whatever that is, Korean. Then you have to go to turn off broadcast settings, advanced settings, display message to spectators and spectators comments. So if that last part pretty much made no sense because I'm reading it fast, <laughs> this is how you pretty much, this is what it would go to. And you would have to pretty much click that on. Now before you can click that on, you have to turn this off. Then you'll have to go to comments and speech, click that on, then everything will get turned on. Increase the speed, pitch, and the volume that the display comments are coming at you with. Um, so pretty much that's how you do it. Um, and if you want to turn the display messages back on, just click that. Message of spectators, you can put that there too if you want to. Um, so pretty much uh, advanced settings, that's how I got to all that. And broadcast settings, that's how you get to all that. So how you get to all that easily, you just press the share button on your PS4 controller. And that's me up there, but I'm right here too. And then go to share broadcast settings. Broadcast settings. Advanced settings. And there you are, you're here. Turn that off. Comment to speech. Enable that. Make sure your language is English or whatever, Chinese, whatever that is. And then you're pretty much all good to go. Now the reason this might not work is because of the display message to spectators not working. Sometimes this doesn't work, which is why I'm making this video, because I made a whole bunch of other videos on this subject. Um, if the display message to spectators doesn't work or, you know, you're not able to see the messages or comments from the spectators that are watching, then pretty much it's because of a network issue on Sony's end. And pretty much this happened all the time. Um, how you can fix that? You'll want to go to settings, account manager. One way to fix it, restore licenses. Make sure you read all that. Another way to fix it, somebody else said, link with other services. Unlink uh, whatever you're streaming to and then relink it. And another fix that I thought of would be uh, creating a new account with a new email and then not um, putting where you're from as the US, put it from like New Zealand or something. You can try that, I don't know if that'll work. I don't know if Sony will get mad if you try that, but you could try that too. Um, I made a whole bunch of other fixes on how to dis uh, fix the display comments. Uh, I made a whole video on that. I'll probably put that at the end of this video if you want to see all the fixes on how to fix that. And um, pretty much um, that should be it. Um, if none of this is working, it could be because of the PS5 uh, coming out and they're just gearing every app towards the PS5. now. On the other video, I did talk about how you can download the PS4 Remote Play app for your computer if you have a good enough computer. Now, I'm not saying buy a, a, a new computer just to be able to see the comments. I'm not saying that. Um, but if you have a good computer already and want to try this, feel free to. And that's pretty much what I'm streaming it with right now. I'm not streaming with the... Uh, PS4 streaming service. I'm streaming with uh, the PS4 Remote Play app, which pretty much puts the PS4 screen on your computer via your controller. And it's working through a USB. So you need a USB, a good enough computer, and pretty much, then you'll be able to pretty much uh, have your gameplay on your computer. You'll need OBS, Open Broadcast Software, or Streamlabs OBS to be able to stream from your computer and then the app ps4 remote play app that's how you get the gameplay from the ps4 onto your computer via controller so um pretty much i'm going to go ahead and click on 
Sorry if I got the sniffles, guys. Display capture. And that way you can see my unorganized computer screen. And that's pretty much the app right there. PS4 Remote Play. I'm going to go ahead and close out of it. So that way you guys can... um. can see what it looks like whenever you open it. And there it is. Um, there it is in the background. As you can see, it'll tell you pretty much everything you need to press. Press start. It might not show up instantly because you gotta, uh, if you already have it open on OBS, then you have to pretty much go to properties and re-put it there. And there's a screen, sometimes it'll stay black, just press the bu button, uh, the PS button in between the, uh, control axles, do that a few times, and then it should, well, I mean, or open up the game. I mean, eventually it's gonna stop looking janky. Cause right now it looks really janky. That sometimes happens. I think it happens because my USB is really broken. Or not really broken, but you know. I mean, it is broken, but you get what I'm trying to say. So there it is in the background. There it is. So those are pretty much um, all the fixes. You can actually get your uh, your comments from the YouTube comments by clicking plus under sources, then press browser, press OK, and then put that link, the link from your um, from your YouTube chat into that URL. It's real easy to do. Press pop out chat, the three dots, then press pop out chat, copy that URL and then paste it on the URL within Streamlabs OBS. Should pop up. And there I am. There's my comment up at the top. I'll go ahead and leave one more comment so, so you guys know it's real time. And that's how you do it with uh, OBS. You can look up other guides that go in more depth into it or depth into it. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you guys want to fix all this or open it up or if it doesn't work, you know, somebody said you could just easily press R2 to get everything working. I don't know what that means. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this helps. I hope it explains why because uh, it doesn't work sometimes. If it doesn't work, it's mainly because of network issues on Sony's end. Hopefully, I'll get that up. I think it's happening because the PS5 is honestly coming out and then they're... I hope they don't shut down the, how, the, a way to stream from the PS5. Honestly, I keep saying this, but I think they need to just make an app to where you don't need to buy, to, buy an Elgato capture card to stream because those things mal malfunction too. Those things malfunction too, so I think that's what they're gearing up towards, hopefully. Um, and call in to Sony, make sure that they know people care about this app, which is why I'm making this tutorial. So that's pretty much it, guys. Those are all the fixes. Don't ever do a fix that tells you to initialize your PS4, delete your data, or go buy a new PS4. I do think this is mainly happening to older versions of the PS4, but I don't think it's worth risking $500 and then it not working or initializing all your data, deleting all your data pretty much, and then and not end up working. I mean, you could try it, but um, I'm not, I never tried those fixes, and I don't think they work. So, um, that's pretty much it. I'm Young Tex. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to join the Petro Squad. Tell me if this explains everything thoroughly and fixes everything. Goodbye, homies. See you on the next video. More PlayStation 5 reactions and streams on this channel. Subscribe for that, and thank you so much for clicking on the video.